Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the most expensive items in New World, the top 15 to be exact. The first one is the Goldfish and Porcelain Bowl. You would think, well, this thing doesn't sell for anything because you can see the market prices here. There's none on the market. So they must not sell. They must be useless. You're very, very wrong. And that's why this video is very, very important. People are offering over 1 million gold in game on the trading chat for this specific item. A lot of people really, really love housing items, and the Goldfish and Porcelain Bowl is very, very rare. I haven't seen many in-game myself, if any at all, and this is going to be the number one option. If you guys are looking for something to make you a lot of money, go farm those elite chests and a brimstone chest, because if you get this Goldfish and Porcelain Bowl, count yourself lucky, depending on what server you're on, you can get anywhere between 500k to 1 million gold. This is on legacy servers as of now. So massive money to be made with the goldfish in porcelain bowl. But next up, it won't be as crazy from here on out, but we do have some really cool stuff. First off, Horrific Slasher. Horrific Slasher is a hatchet that has nothing too crazy on it. However, it is a very, very rare hatchet drop. If you take a look at the servers, there's not many that actually have this one on the trading post yet again, but this one does have a few selling between 30 to 60K depending on what legacy server you're on. So hopefully you guys can get lucky by farming this hatchet. And if you are interested in farming it, it mostly drops by, well, everything in the world. It's dropped by over 1,226 mobs, basically. So it's a world drop that you're going to have to really just farm everything for and get very, very lucky. That's why it is so rare and so expensive. Next up, we do have the Canarios Guitar Sheet. This is a music page, one of one, and a lot of people are looking for it because it's so rare yet again. And uh, if we take a look, let's take a look at some of the servers. Here we go. This one's selling for 80K. If we take a look a little bit farther down, we have one selling for 50K. We take a look a little bit farther down. I think that's about all. I, I don't know if there's any other servers that are actually selling these. So 100K here on the Valhalla server and the buy price at 18 to 19K on the Valhalla server alone. And really realize, guys, this is not selling for anything less than 40 to 50K at the very, very minimum. If you can get lucky and put up a buy price, by the way, guys, for any of these items I'm talking about today, I definitely do so because people are going to buy them from you for much, much more, most likely. Just keep that in mind. It's not financial advice as in the game, but I want to say this is definitely worth the investment. Here you can see the Corruption Impalers, Corruption Swarmers, Canary Mercenaries, Canary Butcher, Canary Miners, and Corrupted Tendrils will be the ones that drop this. If you guys want to take a look at these and where they're at, you can definitely go to nwdb.info and you can also see that they do have a map and pointing out all of the different locations to farm these specific pieces. So I do want to go back actually and talk about the Goldfish and Porcelain Bull real quick. Like I said, this is an elite chest kind of situation. You're going to have to grind those elite chests out in general. And then also, like I said, Brimstone Sands is definitely one of the best places to do that. Here we go to the next one in line. It's the Major Loot Luck Trophy. You can understand before we get too much farther into this video, some of this middle ground is going to be a lot of different trophies. It's because the major trophies in this game are so, so good and so, so important for many late game players. So the first one, like I said, is the Major Loot Luck Trophy. This one is huge because you're going to be able to see that it's selling for anywhere between 40 to 49K on Valhalla. If you take a look at some of the other ones, it's more and less depending on, like I said, what server you're on. But this is going to sell a lot. And then, of course, the crafting recipe, if you take a look, the loading dice is going to be the artifact that actually lets you upgrade your tier two into a tier three. And that's why this Loaded Dice specifically is selling for 19, 20, 25K, depending on, like I said, what server you're on. All right, let's take a look at where these all come from. By the way, these come from stockpiles. If you guys didn't know, trophy mats, they always come from stockpiles, chests in general. So if you're doing a lot of chest runs, you actually could make a ton of money if you have a lot of luck running around doing those chest runs and doing those supply stockpiles. So if you are looking for kind of that idea of running and looking for these trophy mats, it's not bad. It's pretty good money if you can actually get lucky. All right, let's continue on. Basic loot luck trophy had to be on here yet again because the sell prices are 30 or really 20 to 30K to 40K depending on what server you're on. Let's take a look at what you need to be looking for yet again. So stacked deck is the artifact for the basic loot trophy. It's going to be selling for about 10 to 20K on average. Next up, we have the major angry earth combat trophy. This one's definitely worth going for or hunting for because it's worth 25 to 50k at the very very least you can see buy prices at 20k right now in Valhalla 
Sell prices at around 40K, but it depends, like I said, again, on what server you're on. So let's take a look at the artifact that upgrades it. It is going to be the Glowing Sap, which sells between 10 to 25K. Next up, we have the Major Ancient Combat Trophy. This one's selling for 42K right now on Fey. We take a look at Care City. It's about 40K. Valhalla is sitting at about 44K. And there is a ton of people that are willing to buy these because of how helpful they are in PvE dungeons. And if we take a look at the artifact, it is also, of course, selling very well, about 25 to 40k as well. Um, this is dropped by the Surgeon, so it's actually much more farmable. It's the Ancient Mandible, and uh, like I said, the Surgeon is going to be the main drop for this in Reekwater. If you guys are very interested in farming this, you definitely can do so. And you're probably going to make a lot of money if you do get this drop, so just keep that in mind. Next up on the list, we have the Major Lost Combat Trophy. The Major Lost Combat Trophy is definitely worth hunting for yet again because we see about 15 to 35k as the sell price. Like I said, guys, if you are trying to sell these, I wouldn't do the buy prices. I would sell below the sell price and not take any of these buy prices. You're going to lose a lot of money. So here specifically on Valhalla, it's 25k versus 16k. If you sell it for about 24K, you're going to sell that thing within a day or two. So just keep that in mind. Don't lose that 8,000 gold and just be impatient unless you really, really need that gold now. So, so the major loss combat trophy, the artifact itself that you're going to want to be hunting for is the infirmarial seal. And this one's actually selling for about 15 to 25K. If you take a look at Valhalla, 12K as the buy price, 18K as the sell price currently. And it's by the Mordesi or drops by the Mordesi, the Mordekin. And this guy is actually spawning in Ebon Scale Reach. So if you want to farm this guy, you definitely can do so fairly easily. And it's definitely worth doing as well. Next up in line, we have the Major Corrupted Combat Trophy. This one is selling for anywhere between 20 and 45k. And of course, the artifact is the Corrupted Totem. The Corrupted Totem is spawning or dropped by the Pit Lord Dahi. And this one drops for about 20 to 25k at the very, very least. It's going to be well worth hunting for and going for. Um, really all of these major trophies are worth going for and the really materials to help get you these major trophies, you know, are going to be well, well sought after as late game players continue to need more and more major trophies as their really progress continues. Next up, we have the major armoring crafting trophy. You guys should probably know this was coming because armoring is so, so good in New World. You can make a ton of money. And of course, who doesn't want to be able to make their own stuff? So of course, Valhalla has it at 35K as the sell price right now. Many others are selling it around 30 to 50K. And you can see that the artifact that's making this one so expensive is the precision armoring tools selling for about 20k on Valhalla and many other places you can see it 20 to 30 to 35k so definitely take advantage of grabbing these throughout your elite chest runs when you have all that full luck gear on supply stockpiles are going to be your best friend hoping for something crazy that day Next up in line, we do have the Shard of Concentrated Iron. So we're through the trophies. We're going to talk a little bit more about what else you can be hunting for out there in the wild. So Freedom is a huge perk on a lot of different pieces. It's best in slot for a lot of different builds. And for that reason, you can see that it's going to be about 15 to 20K on average per server. So it's dropped by a lot of different enemies here. 193 are listed but it's going to be very, very rare of a drop. So during your, like I said, again, elite chest runs, you have a chance of hunting down these shards of concentrated iron, depending on where you are going. Next up in line, we have these squirming vines. The squirming vines is a huge, huge shirking fortification perk that is considered best in slot for a lot of different people. If you guys take a look at the shirking fortification squirming vines, it's selling for about 15 to 20 K on average. And it's definitely an item or a perk mod that a lot of people are hunting for. And it's again, through supply caches around new world. Next up in line, we have the Terror of the Seas. By the way, guys, if you want to hunt specific pieces today, I would not just take my word for it. Go into nwdb.info, type it in, and go through and find all the different drops it's contained in or gathered from. Where do you get it? That's the main thing you want to find out if you are hunting something. And then, of course, get that loot luck gear on and start hunting. So here we have Tear of the Seas. Depending on what server, you can see that there are some selling for about 45K. We also see some selling for like 50, 60K. But for the most part, if you take a look right now on the servers we have available on NWDB market, there are basically none on the market. And that's why they're selling for so much because it's not that great 
of a bow overall. However, it is nice because if we do have the Beast Raid coming, of course, we have the Beast Bane, Life Stealing, and Luck, which would be pretty nice as a you know PVE bow. Next up in line, we do, of course, have the Seeker of the Secrets. This one's going to be interesting because it has Ancient Bane, Hated, and Sure Footing, which has 15 con as well, which is great for tanks, of course. And it's a sword that a lot of people are hunting for. It's really dropped by anything in the world, and that's why it's so rare yet again. This one you're not going to find on many different markets, but if you do, they're selling for about 20 to 25k typically. Marama has one selling for about 20k. It's actually not a bad price for how rare these are. And then Guan has one selling for 10k. So this is a little bit lower on the side, probably about 5 to 10k, 5 to 15k you could sell it for very quickly. Um, but very, very interesting sword that a lot of people are hunting for. Next up, we have number 15. We actually have a 16 in this list other than 15. I know we said, I think we said 15, but we have 16 different items in this list. Volcanic Reavers, another sword people are going for. Very, very rare. You can't find this one very easily across many different markets and on many different servers. But if you do, I've seen the buy orders on a lot of different servers for over 80K, which is kind of nuts because realistically, as refreshing, luck, and keen, it's not crazy, crazy. The sword's pretty strong though, and I'll tell you what, it's dropped by 1,226 mobs across the world, so you can know that it's a very, very hard RNG drop to get, and that's why it's so expensive yet again. Okay, guys, we have one more left. It's nothing too crazy, of course. It's a perk or a mod itself, a craft mod. It's the light and heavy attacks reduce your active weapon cooldowns by 2.8%, star metal weaponsmith's charm. This charm is selling for anywhere between 8 to 15k on average across many different servers. So do what you can to find these. But like I said, again, craft mods mostly are farmable through supply caches in certain regions. So make sure you're in the right region, farming the right supply caches, and you'll have a chance at obtaining these very, very neat resource craft mods that are going to make you a ton of money in New World. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see more like this, kind of giving you an idea of what to expect when you get certain drops or what drops are really rare, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. And then as well, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. We stream every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you guys all in the next one.